welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a mini boohoo haul. I haven't ordered much but I wanted to show you what I have ordered. There is one thing that's just like a full outfit so I really wanted to show that to you and it's something completely out of my comfort zone as well. Um, I also wanted to share that this top here is actually from boohoo as well. Not from this particular haul, but I'm pretty sure they still have them on the website. Um, but anyway, I'll link everything down below if it is on the website. I love this top, so I think it's a peplum top and it's so flattering and nice. I just wanted to wear it for the haul today. So this will be my first ever try-on haul. I've done a Primark haul before, but I've never done a try-on haul, so please be kind to me. Um, this is obviously a curvy girl. Um, one of a size 16 to 18 possibly sometimes but usually a 16 um, maybe even a 20 after this lockdown is over if you enjoyed this video please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment below and tell me what you think of the outfits that I have got from Boohoo so let's get into it so firstly what I ordered was a new dress so I shall show you the old dress that I've got as well um, which I got from Boohoo, which is still on the website, so I shall try that on for you as well. Um, but it's a similar style, and because the red dress that I've got that I love is so comfy, so flattering, I wanted another one in the same style. So as you can see, this is like a peplum style, I think. I think it's called a peplum style. Let me see what it says on the label. No, it's not a peplum style. It's a smock dress, it says. So it's got a little bit of a frill on the sleeve, and um, kind of goes out a little bit at the bottom. Not like a massive fan of that leopard like print but I kind of like it, it's quite cute and I think it will go with something else I bought which I'll show you in a minute. So next, now this is something that I've never actually bought before. I'm not a big trainer person but um, yeah I feel like I just have no shoes to wear. So what I've gone with, I've just gone for a plain white trainer. Um, these are £21 from, from Bulu obviously, it's a really good haul. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping they're going to look nice. Like I said, not really a trainer girl, but um, yeah, I'm hoping they're going to look nice with the outfit I've got with them. So the next thing I bought is, and it's still got a little bit of leopard print, um, different material to what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a bit more of a thicker man's t-shirt, if that makes sense. Like, you know, like the thick material of men's t-shirts is slightly different to girls. It's actually a really, really soft, clingy material, so I'm not sure how this is going to look, but yeah, so this is the t-shirt. This is what I bought. I bought it in a size 20. Doesn't look like a size 20, not gonna lie. Um, so my idea was that it was gonna kind of come like past my bum, well, a little bit at least. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how that's gonna look on me, but I'll try it on and see. I've got it here with the cycling shorts. Now, the cycling shorts I got in a size 16. Um, they've come in this ribbed material and I'm thinking they possibly might be a little bit too baggy um, unless I'm just a little bit fatter than I think, hopefully but yeah, I'm glad I didn't get a size 18 because it definitely would have been too big then but we'll see how they go, I have got chunky thighs so I'm hoping I'm going to fill these out and they're going to look good I'm going to pair them with that t-shirt that's why I was kind of open for a bigger t-shirt than what I got but hopefully it looks good. And then last but not least, we have got this dress. Um, I've worn this dress before quite a lot of times. You'll probably see it on my Instagram if you follow me on Instagram. But yeah, so this is the inspiration to like the print dress because I absolutely adore this. So this must be a smock dress as well. Um, it's just so flattering and I absolutely adore it. I'm hoping it's gonna go really well with the trainers, but if not, it will, hopefully it will. So I actually really, really like this dress. It does come up a lot bigger than what the red dress does. Considering they're both the same size, they're both a size 16, you will see later on in the video that the red dress comes up a lot shorter than this one. Um, but yeah, I do really, really like this dress and I can definitely see myself wearing it on holiday. So these are the trainers I got by themselves. I actually really, really, I'm totally obsessed with these trainers. Um, like I said earlier, I'm not a trainer person at all, but I always feel like I just have nothing to wear for shoes. Um, but yeah, I think these are gonna get so much wear out of. They were £21, you could probably get a 
cheaper pair somewhere. Um, I know someone that's got £15 pair from Asda before, pretty much the same as this. But yeah, really love these. You know what I actually really, really like the cycling shorts but this top is definitely not a size 20 like I was kind of expecting it to come down here to hide any camel toe <laughs> but yeah it's definitely not size 20 but I think I could wear this out like I think I'd be okay wearing this out as long as I have a tan um but yeah definitely looking for something that is a bit bigger than what this is but yeah happy so this is my all time favourite dress, all you need to do is check out my Instagram and you will see so many posts of me wearing this dress. Um, as you can see it does come up a lot shorter than the leopard print dress and it is the same uh, same style and same size as that so I thought it would have been the same but I still really love the leopard print. So here I have just paired a few different things with these cycling shorts just to show you what it could look like um, and what I'd maybe wear with it as well but yeah I'm definitely in search of a properly um, oversized t-shirt to wear with them but yeah that'll be my next purchase so I've just got a few jumpers and things here that I would wear with these cycling shorts now I actually love <laughs> this outfit um, this jumper is actually from Primark and it's slightly like kind of baggy um, I love it together I think that looks really really cool yeah I like that I like that a lot better than the t-shirt um, yeah, I would definitely wear this. I really like this actually. I think it could definitely be worked with. Yeah, I quite like this jumper with this. The thing is it kind of curls in, I don't really like that. I wish it would just kind of go down the way, but um, I quite like these two together and maybe wear this. So this is just some really, really cute loungewear. This is perfect for maybe like when it comes a bit colder or at the moment it's kind of raining and stuff at the moment. So I would maybe put this on when I got back from a dog walk and maybe have a hot chocolate. And um, yeah, I'm feeling this. I think it's quite cute and just cozy and without being like, you know, obviously you can't wear it where it's freezing, but it's just, I don't think I'd wear this out the house, like literally just loungewear, but um, yeah, I like this too. And I think possibly this t-shirt or another t-shirt um, would look really cute paired with this really slouchy cardigan, also from Primark. Um, but yeah, I'd probably pair these together. I don't know if I like this top with this actually, it's quite tight and not very flattering, but yeah, I definitely have this. This cardigan with a different white top um, or another t-shirt and I think that would look really cute. Okay, so this jacket is actually from um, eBay and yeah, I think that looks really, really cute. I cannot wait to wear this out, out somewhere. Yay! So overall, I really, really liked every single thing that I bought. Um, this t-shirt personally I think was it's meant to be a size 20 it's definitely not a size 20 I'm a size 16 and it just makes me feel sorry for anybody who actually is a size 20 that would buy this and then think that it doesn't fit them but actually it's just really really small um, but yeah apart from this being a little bit smaller than I imagined I really really like everything and I'm really, really happy with what I bought I was so excited to have this new all outfit and new trainers as well, which are going to go with absolutely everything. So, thank you so much for watching today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this little video. Obviously, it's just been a mini haul today, but um, once I get back working normally, I probably will do a bit more bigger hauls. Once I bought a house, I'm going to be treating myself all the time. I cannot wait for Primark to open, and then I'm going to do a big Primark haul. I may do a B&M and Home Bargains haul soon. Let me know down below if you enjoyed this and let me know which is your favourite outfit. 
What's your favourite piece of clothing? I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below which is your favourite outfit that I wore today, which these outfits are a little bit out of my comfort zone. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye! Um...